are the most important thing in my life. My creationships I value before anything else. So I wrote a little song, a tribute song, and here it goes. Friendship is a gift, and it's given for free. When you're not expecting jack shit from me. My love is a gift, given for free. Especially when you're going down on me. I just love it so much. I mean, I consider myself a pretty picky girl, but when it comes to oral, I kind of think I'd let just about anybody down there. <laughs> Sir, would you like to come to the stage? It would be my pleasure. Speaking of going down, have any of you ever felt suffocated by someone's butthole when you had your tongue in it and their ass was so big it swallowed your entire head? I was flailing around in there gasping for air. I'm alright. I promise. Tap me out. Okay, I'm coming back. flashed before me. It was fucking awesome. I mean, you know you love someone when you're willing to do that sort of dirty, dirty form. You know, get it dirty, dirty, right? Dirty, dirty. Yeah. Oh my god. And <laughs> yeah, I can't believe it myself. Um, so, uh, can anybody to help me understand this? How a man pushing 350 pounds, my ex-boyfriend, um, how he could always have his whole junk, cock and balls, smelling like a peach. At all times, best hygiene of any man I've ever known. I mean, what did he do? Did he get like peach baby wipes and stick them in his tidy whities straight off the tennis court, dripping peach balls? Like, how does that happen? I don't know. So after that relationship with that gay man, I was convinced, <laughs> I, was convinced I was a gay man trapped in a woman's body because everybody I was attracted to was gay. Or the dudes that were attracted to me had their first sexual experience with a guy, or had some sort of man in their closet. And how I would find out <laughs> would usually be when we get to the love-making portion of the relationship. And that's why I'm really sneaky, and I, I like to talk dirty, especially if it's a short-term thing. So <laughs> and that's where I do all my investigative work, right? So I'd be like, Tell me anything, everything. Tell me your deepest, darkest secret, something that nobody else would know. And he'd be like, yeah, there was this one time when I ditched my prom date and I went out on the football field to have some butt love with Michael. <laughs> what? <laughs> Not again! <laughs> but then I'd have this wild, visceral reaction, like wildly turned on, crotch fire, like, really? Like, like really? Tell me, what did Michael do? Tell me, I need to know. Like, did he unzip your pants slowly or did he rip them open? Come on, tell me. <laughs> I know, I know. After that, I was like really confused. Like, how does this happen? Is this some like past life thing or what? Um, so I did some self-excavation work to try to figure it out. And the only correlation I could make was when I was a little girl, I lived in a closet. Yeah, uh, my stepmom had a lot of issues around segregation of me. Yeah, um, so she gave me a walk-in closet for a bedroom. And yeah, and I thought it was so fucking cool. I had this whole five by five space all to myself. And when I shut that door, I could be anything I wanted to be. It was a whole new world, a whole fantastic point of view without windows. But then my best friend from first grade comes in, Alice Reynoso. She was the only other brown girl in my class. Everybody was white. Um, she goes in, she comes in and she's like, Gina? Gina. Gina, what would live in the closet? Did your new mommy put the Mexican looking one in the closet? I was like, no, I have my own room. I love living in that closet. Do you understand how easy and simple life was in that closet? Life was easy when I lived in a closet. Oh, how I miss living in that closet. Didn't have to pay bills, gas, electric, cable, rent, car payment when I lived in the closet. How I wish I 
I still lived in that closet. <laughs> Come on, you guys. You know that adversity builds character, right? It breeds ambition, fire, drive. I mean, I feel sorry for people who haven't been abused. <laughs> Get off the fucking couch. <laughs> so that's what, <laughs> that's what helped me. I'll just leave you with this last little bit. That's what helped me with this perspective. I do have a money tree. Uh huh. Things are always free for me. Things do come easily. We can be anything we want to be. That's all I accept to see. That's my reality for me. Peace. Thank you.